Hey all, this is Anjali and in this video, I'm going to solve question number 5 of Computer Science 2017 paper. We have already discussed how to solve question number 1, 2, 3 and 4 and that was section A using C++ where we have solved all 4 questions and now section B as you know is for Python and you have an option between section A and B. The third section is section C which is a compulsory section for all the candidates. So this is the one which you have to do either you have C++ or you have Python. So this is basically consisting three questions, question number five, six and seven. Question number five is from SQL, question number six is from your Boolean algebra and question number seven is from computer networks. So let's start with question number five first. This is question number five which comes from SQL. Now here the question is observe the following table member carefully and write the name of the RDBMS operation out of selection, projection, union, Cartesian product which has been used to produce the output as shown in result. Also find the degree and cardinality of the result. Okay. Now first of all you should know what all these operations are. Selection means you put a condition and you show some limited rows out of the whole table. Projection is when I show all the rows but I have limited the number of columns to be shown. Union is basically used with two tables or two queries. When I have two different queries and the total answer is a join is basically a combination of uh, the result of first query plus the result of second query. And Cartesian product is when you fetch data from two separate tables and it links the first row of each table with all the rows of the second table, then second row of first table with all the rows of the other table. So if I have three rows in first table, four in the other, I'll have 12 rows as the answer. So obviously that is not the case here. It's not the Cartesian product. And I can't see any union over here because I'm getting just one row as a result. It's not projection because three columns are there in the table. In the result also I have three columns. The only option left is selection. That there would be some condition and based on that condition we have just got one row. That condition could be stream is equal to humanities because there is only one student in humanities so we get that or that condition could be where m name is equal to Aditya or the condition could be where number is equal to m002. So we have some condition with where that's why we've got this. So the operation used is selection. So for the question number five a part your answer is operation used is selection. It's not projection, it's not union, it's not Cartesian product. And you have to tell the degree and cardinality of the result. So degree is the number of columns. So degree of the result is 3. And since there is only one row fetched in the result, so the cardinality, that is the number of rows, is 1. So degree is 3 and cardinality is 1. So that's a simple question and you get 2 marks for this. Okay. Then comes question number B which says write SQL queries for 1 to 4 and find outputs of 5 to 8. So now the first 4 are for 1 mark each and the next 4 are for half mark each. The output questions are for half mark and the queries for 1 mark. Okay. So we have two tables. One is DVD, one is member. DVD is table stores the details of the DVDs, that's the DVD code, title and the type and member stores member ID name, the DVD code which is issued to that member and the issue date. Okay, so the first question is now, as you can see there are two tables, so there might be a question which uses join, so read your questions carefully. So the first one says to display all details from the table member in descending order of issue date, so to use only one table display all details when it says all details no column is mentioned you have to put star so select star from select star from where we have to select from the table member where no we don't need where because there is no condition also they have told that we have to sort them so for sorting we write order by order by issue date so you have to sort as per issue date and we have to sort in decreasing order. So I write D-E-S-C. If I don't write that, by default is ascending order. 
So we didn't have any conditions, so we skipped break. After that, we had order by, order by, issue date, DESC, that means descending order. Then the second question says to display the D code and D title of all folk type DVDs from the table DVD. So since the column names are mentioned, I have to fetch only those columns. So I will not use star here. I have to mention the column name. That is D code. And the second column is D title from name of the table. That is DVD where, where of folk type dvd type should be folk so where d type is equal to folk so it will match the d type wherever we get folk that will be displayed and the others will not be displayed so that's how we write the select command to fetch from the dvd table okay the third command says to display the D-type and the number of DVDs in each D-type from the table DVD. Now, whenever your question says that you have to display something which can be calculated using a group function, a group function means count, min, max, average, sum, and it's mentioned for each DVD type or for or something wise like department wise. So when you have for each or for wise, then we mean that we need to use group by over here. So I have to display the D type and number of DVDs. Number of DVDs we can find with the help of count. So to write select DVD type, that is select D type, comma, I have to count. I have to count what? You can just write star over here if you don't want to write a column name. Or you could write D code. So select D type, comma, count star from DVD. And I'm going to write here group by group by the same column which we have fetched in the query that's d type group by d type now it's first going to make groups as per d type and then it's going to count and show the result so if this query is given and i have to tell the output so there would be three groups one would be for folk one would be for classical and third row will be for rock so it will show folk two classical two rock one so this would be the output but we're not asked the output we just have to write the query and the query is written like this okay let's go to question number four that seems to be the one which uses both the tables so it's to display all name and issue date of those members from the table member who have dvds issued in the year 2017 okay this is also not having any query for the joins for joins we need to fetch from both the tables but here again it's dependent on member table only but the condition is based on dates. So how we're going to write this. So when we write this query, we have to select display the name and issue date. So I'm going to select the name and issue date from the table member where the year 2017 who have DVDs issued in the year okay so we have a function named year which gives us the year out of a date value so I can write where year of issue date is equal to 2017 similarly we have a function month which fits the month and year will fetch the year so where year in brackets issue date is equal to 2017 will print only those where the issue date is in 2017 that's the answer for your query number four. So for these first four, we have to write the SQL query. And for the next four, the query is given in the question and we are supposed to write the answer for that. So this is very easy. Select min issue date from member. So there are three issue dates over here. We have to find the minimum. Minimum means the earliest. And the greater one is the nearest one. So 2016 would be the minimum date. So it should be the answer you have to write like this. First, you have to write the column name column name is min issue date on the next line i have to write the value which is 2016 12 13 so this is the minimum date we have okay then comes question number six question number six is select distinct d type from dvd so distinct d type means you have to show all different values of the d type which are not repeated 
because that's the purpose of distinct. Distinct means all different values. So the values which are not repeated will be shown. Uh, means they are repeated in the table, but they're shown only once in the result. So it is oak, then it is rock, and the third one is classical. So we get it this way. Then we have option seven. Okay, option seven is uh, something which has a join, I guess. It's select D dot D code, comma name, comma D title. So name is in member table and D title is in the DVD table. So from, yeah. So D dot D code, comma name, comma D title from DVD D comma member M where d dot decode is equal to m dot decode. So this is the condition for join. Whenever you have two tables, we have a common field. And on the basis of that, we join the two tables. And we just need to show the matching values. And there is no other condition given with it. Because if it would have been given where d dot decode is equal to m dot m code and something, we have to check that condition as well. But over here, we just need to match the values. So what we have to show is, we have to show d dot d code. We have to show the name, and we have to show the d title. Okay. Okay. Let's start with the thing. Now, uh, first d code is over here, which is c one zero. Okay, no, it's f one zero one. F one zero one. Let me see if it matches somewhere out here. No, it does not. It doesn't match with this, doesn't match with this, doesn't match with this. So it will not be shown. Let's pick up C102. Okay, again, it doesn't match with any of these. Then we have C101. C101 matches with this one. So we write here C101. Then you have to show the name uh, is Nisha Hans. And Nisha Hans is the name and the title is the planets. So it's linked with the planets. So you have to write here the planets. Okay. So that's first row and the second value is F102. That's linked with Arth Joseph. So we are going to write F102 linked with Arth Joseph and uh, Universal Soldier is the name of the CD. So it should be Universal Soldier. Okay. Then the third one is R102. That is also there. That's also there. So we just write R102. The matching record is Agam Singh. So below name, you have to write Agam Singh. And Agam Singh is linked with the a day in life. So it should be a day in life. So that's how we write the output of this question. That's how we write the output for the join. And then the final question over here is select D title from DVD where D type not in folk and classical. So if it's not in folk and classical, so that means it matches with your rock that is a day in life. So the answer would be D title and below this we would write a day in life because here the type is not folk, not classical, it's rock. That's why the answer would be a day in life. It should be written in the same case as in the table. So it should be a day in life. So that's how we solve the SQL question. It's quite easy in comparison to the C++ question. So do prepare well for this. And this is how we solve it. It always comes for eight marks in your board exams. In case any doubts, do write in the comment section and I'll get back to you. And do like the video and subscribe the channel for the new updates. Thank you. Keep watching. Keep learning.